when the advocate who comes he will strengthen you and he will convict the world about sin righteousness and condemnation dear brothers and sisters in jesus christ we are in the tuesday of the sixth week of easter and today we reflect on the gospel of saint john chapter 16 verses 5 to 11 just before that jesus telling his disciples the world will hate you and persecute you because they don't know me and the father and jesus again telling i am going to my father and the disciples were sangan with the grief because one side jesus is predicting the persecution the suffering the misunderstanding all those things the other side their leader is going to leave them so in this sorrowful moment jesus giving them the hope because it is good that i am going because i am going god will send the advocate when the advocate who comes he will strengthen you and he will convict the world about sin righteousness and condemnation because sin because the world did not believe me jesus came to the world and revealed the father to the world the love of god to the world and the salvation to the world but the world rejected the salvation the world rejected jesus that is where they have the sin and righteousness because jesus is going to the father and they will not see him again because jesus is the righteous one he came to the world to bring us to the salvation and to teach us what is right and what is wrong and how we have to follow the god the father how we have to be obedient and again condemnation because the ruler of this world is condemned because jesus conquered the world so my dear friends one way the absence of jesus is felt in the presence of the apostles but the other side that absence is filled with the holy spirit and you know that in the history when holy spirit came the disciples strengthened and they become powerful and they become courageous and they were able to preach jesus to the corners of the world even today the holy spirit is active in the world if any one of us are willing to open ourselves to the promptings of the holy spirit and any one of us are willing to obey and follow the directions of the holy spirit we will see the power of god working with through that person so even jesus physically absent from us his spirit the holy spirit is constantly guiding each one of us leading each one of us strengthening each one of us so that we may able to follow jesus and accomplish his will and mission in this world amen